Paul was from the Democratic Party, but you know, this is probably one of the things that both parties could agree on. I don't know. This is just total speculation. Just because this is something that does affect um, an older population generally, and usually both sides tend to be pretty sensitive to, you know, an older population that votes. So that this might have been less controversial than, say, the individual mandate. How about this Obamacare? All this. <coughs> how does it play in with Medicare? And is it better to go through that program when so it's up and running? It's separate. So separate. Um, Medicare is its own, is the, right. is the government run. But can you go from Medicare if it, you deem that Obamacare would be cheaper and... It's totally separate. No, it's totally separate. <coughs> so, um, so if you're eligible for Medicare, um, so if you're 65 or older or if you're... Um, been on SSDI for two years or more, right. you will be put on Medicare. Right. And so you can't select to go on to the health exchange, the, the, you know, the plans that are offered through the exchange because of Obamacare, because of health care reform. You can't just drop Medicare and go Obamacare? No. Not really. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's because the idea is more that, you know, Medicare has been around, right, and it, the whole idea of, basically is to have an option for health care for people who don't already have an option. So people who have Medicare have this option. Um, and your Medicare Parts A and B coverage, the monthly premium that you have to pay for that, is definitely going to be less than if you were on the health exchange through the health care form. Um, because they, while the health exchange plans don't charge you more if you have a pre-existing condition, um, so if you're, you know, if you're under 65 and you try and get onto an exchange plan, which we talked about might be an option, they won't be able to charge you more because you have myeloma. They won't be able to deny you because you have myeloma, which is huge news. Um, but they can charge you more based on age. They charge, you know, different groups of people based on age. So certainly if you're eligible, you know, if you're 65 or older, though it would be much much too expensive. So the idea behind Medicare is that it's it's subsidized, right? It's paid for by the government um, so that people um, above 65 years of age can get health insurance. Yeah. Example on page 18. Is that an Obamacare example? At the top. Top left. Uh, if a couple, but I mean, Oh, I think the, I think the, actually my calculation is wrong there. So it should it shouldn't have that nine in front of there. No. It should just say one hundred four ninety. <laughs> yeah, that would really be out of control. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. So disregard that example, or if you want, you can scratch out the nine in that number. Yeah. My thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so and then again. For clinical trials, um, you know, the, under under a healthcare form, um, the routine cost of care would be covered, um, and you know that the one the the things that wouldn't be covered by Medicare if you're in a clinical trial or investigational study is the cost of the service itself. So if it's a treatment or a cost, then but that's almost always paid by the study, or else how would you do it, right? To get you on the to get you on the trial. They have to they pay for the, yeah, exactly. So they, you know, so obviously Medicare wouldn't cover that, but they would cover all of the surrounding routine costs of care. Um, so I think that's it. But yeah, it's you know, the Affordable Care Act and health care reform is fairly separate from Medicare. There are only a couple added protections that sort of jump across over to Medicare, but it's really separate plans. It's separate programs, separate plans. So. Um, so I think that was all the information that I had prepared. Does anyone have any questions about, you know, general questions about Medicare, about the Affordable Care Act? No? Okay. Well, if you have, if, you, if any occurred to you after, just feel free to let me know, or then you can call us at a later date, too, and you can ask for me, and I'll give you a call back, or anyone there is great, so.
lots of the presentation. I have some here. I have. Does anyone want any information about clinical trials generally? I can leave them here if you okay. want. Um, do you have yeah. a business card? Um, yeah, I think I do. I don't know how many I have. I think I might just have like a couple though. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just two. Yeah, I wrote it down too. Yeah, I can leave it there. Right. Yeah. Then this number is sort of where everyone oh, yeah. can reach us. No problem. Okay. Um, and then, yeah. Okay. So, thank you. Very thank much. you. Um, now, uh, thank Laura again for her very timely and essential uh, presentation on Medicare. Uh, Let's, uh, this is just 1224, be interested if uh, we could hear on how everyone is doing. Um, let's see what's the latest on what's going on. So uh, why don't we take, why don't we do that uh, this, so we get to know what's, what's the latest.